Welcome to another. Get your set under. Moving in the Belgian rock. Nice big wood. Very exciting stuff. Today we've got World's Strongest Man on the TV. Something that I watch often. <laughs> I, I wanted something that was no music on it because one of the YouTube videos gave me a copyright infringement for a song that was on the telly as I was polishing. So this is some of your eyes that have got that it. As you can see I am all in black. I had a funeral this afternoon. And that's not what it was this particular time, but I have been to more funerals in the last two years. Sad time when you've been to more funerals and parties, isn't it? So here we are. This is a horn coral, I believe, that we are polishing. Some nice colour to it. Came from the bar. And there is a species of species of rock. There's a type of rock in Scotland known as Dunbar Marble. Now you can go to Dunbar and collect. Be very careful when you're doing it. This feels wrong. This feels like... Well, that's 2-5. That's 3. That is... Hmm. That's 2-5. That's 5. That's 15. This is 1 and this is 5. I'm sure there was a... Well, that's four. That's why it feels so thin. Yeah. <laughs> that's why it feels like it does. So, because this is a rounded one, what I'm doing is I'm doing it in my hand. And I'm trying to get it so that... That's paper the wrong way. Um, so that while I'm polishing each side, one thumb, my thumb's kind of over the top bit. So that that's getting done at the same time. I've not got wine today, I have coffee. You'll be glad to know. It's been, been good, I had some work to do earlier and stuff as well. Not you lot, but I'm still working across the Christmas and New Year period. Yeah, I need to get all the rocks stock sorted out. My friend works in an art shop. Um, of creative stuff, like pe stuff that local artists have created, if you know what I mean, not, not like an artist shop that sells brushes and stuff, um, and she's managed to speak to her manager to get some bone circle stock in there in the new year, so that's going to be something that we're going to meet up with her, hopefully over the holidays and have a my god, he did not lift that. £700, he just lifted it 10 times. Maybe I should wash this more. 11 times. It's quite impressive. I can barely lift 20 now, though. Really. used to be able to do two 20 kilo oil drums. You know what, in the kitchen, back there, I'd be able to do that. With a bit sedentary and moulded. Also been laid up with a sprained ankle for the last week and a half. Maybe two weeks on Friday, so two weeks and two days. Um, and it's still excruciating. It's been really late at night. <sighs> so you catch me on a downer. I'm sorry. Hope you all had a nice Christmas and a happy new year to come. And the colour of the paper. Lovely. So you know it's going good. I've polished a lot of this bossing material before and it tends to be quite soft and I don't want to polish it too much on each paper because it doesn't really need it. And it, it's, it's, it's like throwing the chalk. Oh, okay, just a bit fell over. Zero. Okay, just a bit of fill over and sun. Put this down. 
Zero that. I think that was the Great British Guy. Oh, there isn't a Great British Guy. <laughs> I'm not sure who that was. Got to be There's Eddie Hall. There's got to be a Great British Guy. Everyone knows Eddie Hall. Because you're tired or not. Though. This feels like when you go like this in talcum powder and it's really, really, really soft. It's already been in the tumbler for this. I put it in grip one and grip two, which is why I started on the. I started in one twenty. I could have probably started on three, but I didn't have any three, which is why. Um, and this is four, as I said. We're getting at the stage where I think, and I had to take it out of the tumbler because it's it's uh, about half the size that it was, and obviously that's not any good to anybody. 500, the blue back. Those that have watched these before will know the blue back is my favourite. It's not colour preference, it's about when I'm working on it. I can see, excuse the dog, I can see when the paper starts to become see through because you don't always know when it's the brown back. But when you've got the blue back, the blue starts to shine through and then it starts to look blue, you know, move on. I'm actually hurt my hand today for some reason, but I am a little out of practice. Now we're pushing the train from the California State Railroad Museum. Coming in from Sweden. If you could push a train, would you push a train, or would you think I don't need to push that train? Oh my God! Really going to? It's a carriage, there's people, there's two people sitting in it, waving out in that. It's amazing that there's people that show. Yeah, so the deal with the shop that's going to stock for us is that one of us has to go in and work. And we don't have to. It's like a 35% commission unless one of us chooses to work one day a month. And then you can like talk to customers with products and stuff. Um, and that takes you down to 25% commission, which is a lot of money, but still, I can't physically do the market stalls anymore with my ankles being the way they are. Um, I've been on looking at hiking poles there to order because if I want to keep walking then I need to be sensible about this. I sprained my ankle and it's the worst sprain of my life and I'll get like chopped my ankles, they're terrible. But it's the worst sprain of my life and it's stepping over a tree trunk on a path in the forest. I've done it. And I can't, uh, climbing over rocks and in the river and all that. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to get a hiking pole so that I've got a bit more balance and stability when I'm out. And I'm just going to use it all the time. Because, uh, otherwise it's resorting to a hike, uh, an actual walking stick just so that I'm not... It's my balance, it's the tendons on either side of your ankle that deal with balance that are messed up. So I fall a lot. I am clumsy. There they go. He wobbled and he went down. His legs gave out, mate. He just pushed a train. A full on train with two people on, waving and that. Oh. 
and it's deep. It's so smooth, it's like oh, she's good to feel the shot. Yet. It does, he looks like he's doing a good job, like... I need to do my nails again after my son. Just got some new black nail polish, which is my favourite colour of nail polish. The darker the better. Just don't see me the yellowy, orangey, pinky ones. They just look weird. I oh, hope Santa was good to use. Actually, uh, one of the people that I had Christmas dinner with it took me in. Friends of a friend and took me in. We loan ourselves for Christmas. So nice of them. It was a great day as well. Um, and the morning after, we got a call from one of them saying, oh, I've just I had a lateral flow negative yesterday and it's positive today, so just watch out. And another one's down already. So just kind of waiting and watching and hoping. Took a, a lateral flow this morning and didn't have it. But uh, it seems to be like changing by the second for people. So I'm going to move up mostly because my fingers are really sore today. I think this is a thousand. Must be twelve hundred. Um, yeah, my hands are really sore from, I don't know if it's because it's around one or what, usually you're just, and today it's, you've got to keep turning it all the time. You can hear in the background maybe the, the rock tumbler in the other room, it's on polished stage at the moment. Hopefully we'll have some nice polished ones that I didn't do, but that took four weeks instead of a couple of hours. I've got the really big one in there though that we found down in Ayrshire in the hills. It's massive. And uh, I thought it was a half an agate, but it was a full one, so it's got some beautiful lights. It's probably the best one I've found. It's because it was whole and we got it. Well, okay, I've got it. Currently waiting on the Germany page and the website going live. Hopefully got onto that soon in the new year. Christmas slows things down a bit. As usual we've got a wee jar of water. It's the same jar of water that I use all the time because I don't want all my cups to become covered in sediment because that's you know, you eat that or drink it with. I actually I just was drifting there, sorry, I was thinking about I might do a TikTok video. They do TikTok videos with that music that goes da 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 um, when artists are drinking the wrong water. <laughs> oh that stinks. <laughs> that does not smell good. Well be a bit of sulfur in there. So I don't know how even this polish is going to be, it's the problem with round ones I've found. But at least it has a nice smooth surface to start with. It's probably not going to be, I mean I'm not taking the greatest attention to detail, I've been going 15 minutes and I'm most of the way through. But I am not, just not my best now, you know. Might as well pick up soon. I'm 
bad and not isolating or anything like that over Christmas, that would be my wish. It's just looking really This is a uh, Rimmel 60 second by the way. <laughs> Don't usually pee that much for an impulse, I usually get them out at 99p even, but uh, I've got that one too for me because I really ran out of black and well I've got some black there and it's all gloopy and I'd put some clear in to loosen it up and it just didn't work. Rock talk nail polishing. So see this was a thousand it's starting to go. So I was saying about you can see the blue it's starting to but this is 1000, which means that. It looks kind of wooden. Yeah. It reminded me of like the British version of the British. You know, like you see presenters on American TV shows, and they're like, and they've got the gold quiff and the teeth bling. So it is a thousand, so had I done this immaculately, I would be expecting to see a bit of a shame Yeah, so I've got, it's not much of a shame, but it's a little bit of a... It's starting to look like it's been polished. And I love how the polisher usually brings out those lines. 2500. I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to keep it in my hand. Use it against this curved corner because otherwise we're not getting the top and bottom. Ideally you want it like this so that you're getting both sides. I'm just going to turn it and 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 turn it. Watch some guys lift a dumbbell and then walk up a bit and lift another dumbbell and then walk up a bit and lift giant golden dumbbells. And then these look like two cartwheels, but how can they be heavier than 230 pounds? Smack them. Smack it like it's nothing. 63 kilograms, that's like a person. I <laughs> just dropped the wheels and they rolled away. He's like, oh no. I hope you all had a lovely time with your family. If you could, over Christmas and New Year brings you everything you could hope for, and that it's much better than 2020 or 2021. Let's hope now that it, the virus has kind of mutated enough that, that it's no longer as deadly. It seems to be what the scientists are saying, but, but, I wonder. I wonder how much they're telling you. 
like at first I think the like wear masks and wash your hands information I think that came out it was more like a we don't know what we're doing we don't know how to defend against this so we'll just if you do this then you feel like you're doing something you know and obviously it works like but you're gonna get it you're gonna get it unfortunately I'm just waiting because I'm <laughs> I'm really worried about it. My friend I was talking to a couple of days ago was saying she thinks that it's probably just a matter of when now and that we will all eventually get it, just when we get it. Oh, oh. I don't think he's going to do it. Oh, I've got a smelly dog in this house, whatever it is. Where did you go, smelly dog? We arranged my living room earlier so that the dog cage could go in behind the couch so that I'm not sitting at my desk through the day in front of the window, but it was really cold. I did a few articles today, I said it would take the day off, but I did a few things for the regular client because if I'm sitting here, I may as well be sitting here making money. <laughs> Tomorrow, if all is well with my lateral flow, touch wood, I'm going to get measured for a bow and hopefully order. It's my Christmas present to myself. Is, uh, I started taking an archery lesson back in took my first one in September and then went back in November and it was going kind of twice a week before Christmas. Um, because I can't actually shoot a bow when I've got a sprained ankle. <laughs> I just can't go out and walk up and do beat these like a rock. So if you follow us on the TikTok account at the Stone Circle Shop, you will notice I have been doing reruns of old videos and videos from the Rock Tumblr as well. But um, there's a lot of footage, a lot of videos on my camera that are on my phone that I won't delete them until after I've used them for TikTok or YouTube. So there's a lot on there that I've still to use. It's just starting to play like butter. That's when you know it's time to move on to the next. Like a hot knife and butter. Um, and I've also been working on the books quite a lot. I've got one nearly finished. It's edited. I say nearly finished. It's written. It needs edited completely from the start. So that's nowhere near finished. <laughs> and the other one I've been writing intermittently as we go. Seems to be coming together. It's just. Uh, I was, on a sh I was on a roll there and I was writing like every night and I was really into it and really excited and then I don't know what happened and it suddenly put a lot on recently but it just suddenly kind of that desperation right that I sometimes get kind of passes and then I'm back to mm, floating through it like uh, I like to say it's like shoveling through a mountain with a toothbrush you know broadly what the story how the story goes, you don't really know how your characters are going to approach the situation, how you're going to get there in the end, what your plot points are. But I'm desperate to get this season out so that I can move on to other things. And it's nearly there. This oh, they're holding Ooh, really big metal pickaxes out in front of them. Got to keep their arms straight. That's like a torture technique. Why would you train to do that for fun?
Now, I would you huh? Forty seconds. Forty He's going to go to the close, they never stay very far behind each other. We all can see this up there. I'm quiet for a while, I apologize. All the things on my mind. Okay, I've got this dry out and I don't want to uh, I don't want to have a proper mask. But I do have this pretty one. It's not just lace, there is a layer of white behind it, there is cotton in there as well. People sometimes look at me funny when I'm wearing it like that lace mask, what point is that? I just thought it was pretty. But I made sure it had a back to it before I bought it because what is the point in a lace mask? No, adverts have got songs in the background. Sorry. I'm not trying to rip anybody off musically. In fact, I was deliberately trying not to do that. Tell, see what you want about the chin. Like, no double chin when you're wearing these masks. See what you want about them. Ooh. Okay, so we've been on 3000 for a fair amount of time. And we've got this lovely, lovely shine on it now. Um, so that did work, which is refreshing. I am tired and feeling in pain, so I'm not going to do much more this evening. I will 
yeah, grab my leather mm -hmm. as you know they always do a final leather on the couch <laughs> but um, I have a spe specific piece of leather for that so that I don't injure myself grab it So it's just a, it's a leather chamois out of um, Tesco, this one. And we just stretch it out. There's a little bit of polishing powder on there. Just to really get that last bit of shine. Of course, you've got to. Not as hard as you can at this stage, it's more about being fast because heat is what seals the powder, so they say. Whereas though there's you're putting kind of pressure on it this year. this and I'm going to go work in my book in the next few days when I'm off on the 31st, 1st and 2nd I will work on stock for French shop and with a little bit of luck I'll be able to buy Stone Circle product at a physical location which would be quite nice. I will, uh, once I finish the polish on any given rock, I take it through to the bathroom and give it a good wash in hot water, hot soapy, just to get that, um, all the dust and the silica and the debris off. To give you an idea, this is what it will be like now. So, I mean, I probably could make that shinier, but I'm quite happy not to. For a hand polish, it's damn good. It's like so shiny that it's now slippery. <laughs> so you know you've done it. So thank you for joining me once again. We have a nice shiny uh, if you can see a shiny horn coral. Also shiny shiny. <laughs> Thanks for joining me and to do this again sometime. <laughs>